What began as a fun and campy made-for-TV spectacular over 40 years ago has grown into something much bigger than anyone could have ever imagined. Every year, only the best make it here. But in the end, only one stands alone as the world's best, the world's strongest. This year's championship stands as a crossroads for all 10 finalists. For two men, this is perhaps their last shot to make history. For the men just beginning their careers, a chance to officially ring in their era, their time. For others, a chance to finally validate their talents, abilities, and hustle. No other championship trophy in this sport will do. This is the one that matters the most. That rings particularly true for one man. Over the past six years, he's come ever so close. But this year, with the burden of his nickname weighing heavier than ever, he presses even harder to reach the summit. But regardless of who prevails, one truth remains. Today's championship will rightfully decide, without question, once again, who is the world's strongest man? Welcome to the 2018 Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man Fight. Rizal Park in Manila, the most revered national monument in all of the Philippines. A tribute to this country's national hero, Jose Rizal, the Filipino patriot and poet whose writings inspired a revolution and still inspire today. Brent Stover alongside Aaron Taylor, we are moments away from these 10 men going after the most prestigious title in the sport of strength athletics, the world's strongest man. Man, is this a deep and talented field of competitors. No doubt the very best that this sport has to offer, including two four-time champions. Lithuania's Zadrunas Saviskas looking to become the oldest man to ever win the title at age 42. From the United States, Brian Shaw, whose wife just two days before this year's final gave birth to their second child. And one competitor who has reached the podium the last six years and is looking to finally break through and hoist the trophy in Iceland's half Thor Bjornsson. All three winners of their group competitions, but they'll have to contend with a fiercely competitive field that includes two other American strongmen in Robert Oberst, who dramatically earned his spot in the last qualifying event, the head-to-head -head winner take all Atlas Stone Showdown. And Martins Leitzis looking to emerge victorious with a victory here. Six events to decide the champion, and it begins with an old world's strongest man classic, the frame carry. And the frame carry takes place right here at Rizzle Park. It's a punishing event that requires the strongmen to lift and carry an 825 pound frame down the 28 meter course. Now the frame has to completely cross the finish line, which will test the grip strength and mental fortitude equally. Our first five athletes are looking like they're ready to start the first event of the final. But first, let's take a look at our Tachi Palace Power Profiles. Zidruna Savitskas, Lithuania. A strong man is my life. It will be 14, the most strongest man for me. It's good to see how he's growing every year. Sure, all strong men are crazy. Me also, because to lift heavy stuff, it's uh, not normal, I think. Brian Shaw, United States. Coming into this year's contest, I've tried to drop my body fat and come in at a little bit lighter weight. I looked at the climate that we were going to be competing in, and it's very important not to be heavier than you need to be when you're dealing with heat and humidity. After 2017, when things don't work out the way that you envision them, you have to take a step back and analyze the situation, and that's, that's what I did. At the end of the day, all you can really do is look in the mirror and say, look, I didn't get it done, so what do I have to do to get it done? Mateusz Kieliszkowski, Poland. I am very happy. It's my third World Strongest Man competition, and I am 